hello viewers in this model we are going to discuss what is the solution for fourth question so here what is the question is in a certain class they kept some exam so their number of total number of questions is 10 for each correct answer three marks will be awarded and one mark minus one mark will be reduced for incorrect answer and zero marks for unattempted non-attempted whatever it is so what is our first question is go p attempted all the questions she, he got five correct answers and five incorrect answers what is his score so first we have to calculate what is the correct answers marks so for that so five into how many marks for number of questions five how many marks for each correct answer that is three marks so 15 marks 15 marks he got for correct answer next incorrect means five into incorrect answer how many marks minus one mark will going to reduce that is minus one so five minus five marks incorrect marks will be minus five marks what is this score means just we need to add all these marks score 15 marks plus of minus five that is 15 plus into minus minus five that is gopi marks is 10 marks gopi marks is 10 marks our second one reshma attempted seven correct answers and three incorrect answers so for seven correct answers how many what is that will come is seven into for each correct answer three marks will be awarded so three that is 21 marks so for awarded for correct answers 21 marks each she got then three into minus one minus one for incorrect answer that is minus three marks so what is the total score of Reshma? Total score 21 plus of minus 3. So whatever total means we should add. If it is a reducing means we will going to take minus. If it is a awarded means we are going to take plus. So 21 minus 3, 18 marks. So 18 marks. Next, Rashmi attempted 3 correct answer, 4 incorrect. 4 incorrect. Uh, four incorrect answer out of seven attempted she is not attempted uh, remaining questions so what is the correct answers means three into three that is nine marks then four incorrect means four into minus one that is four minus four marks what is the score rashmi score is nine plus of minus four remain one more is also there what is that is she attempted only um, seven questions what about the remaining three questions so for three questions she att unattempted no unattempted unattempted marks will be zero into three that is zero marks so zero marks for the remaining things so nine plus minus four zero marks is also we need to include why because she attempted only seven in dirt she got the three as correct and four, four as incorrect so for that nine marks plus of minus four plus zero marks for the remaining things so nine minus four that will be equal to five marks so rashmi got five marks next one so next question is uh, one seller merchant he is going to sell basmati rice and non basmati rice so for basmati rice if he, he will going to sell one bag so for basmati rice for each bag he will get 10 rupees profit if he is going to sell non basmati rice he will get loss of 5 rupees so loss of 5 rupees so what we need to find is basmati rice the number of bags is sold as um, uh, 3000 bags and non basmati rice uh, he sold as 5000 bags so he will get profit or loss so when he will get profit when he will get loss so if he sell cost profit total profit from basmati and total profit loss from non basmati we are going to calculate if it is a more which value is more so based on that we are going to take so what is the profit total profit total profit for selling 3000 bags so total profit of from basmati rice from basmati rice so what is that is 
So how much 3000 banks into 10 rupees profit for each Basmati rice bank? So 10. So what is that? 10. What is that is? 30 thousands. 30 thousand rupees. He will get profit as on Basmati rice. What is the total loss? Total loss from non Basmati rice 5000 into 5 rupees. So 25,000. 25,000 rupees loss. So he got profit as 30,000 rupees and loss as 25,000 rupees. What is the total profit means? We'll take going to take subtraction from that. So what you'll get? So here non Basmati 5 rupees on each non Basmati 5,000 rupees. 5,000 back into that is 5, 5 is the 25, remaining 25,000. So that, so profit will he give it? So what you get is profit is more than loss. So then what is the total profit? What is the final profit is 30,000 minus 25,000. So what is that 5,000 rupees. So he got a profit 5,000 rupees. You understood? So 5,000 rupees. Why? Because 30 minus 25. That's what is our next question? So they are selling non basmati rice number of bags of 6,400 bags. There is no profit, there is no loss. If there is no profit, there is no loss means we have to equate both profit and loss. So what is the value? Why? Because if you take subtraction of profit and loss, then we'll get zero. So for that, we're going to take both are equal. There is no loss, there is no profit uh, means both are equal. So profit, total profit and total total profit and total loss so total profit if we need to find how many number of basmati rice in order to sell to uh, equate with the non basmati rice so here profit is how many bags means first 10 into 10 rupees profit will get 10 rupees and number of basmati rice bags let's take x then loss will be 6400 so how much 5 will come so here 5 rupees 5 rupees loss on each bag so that is the total uh, loss what is that 6400 into 5 here 10 rupees into number of basmati rice bags so that is so just you shift this uh, 10 to the right side it will become division 6400 by into 5 by 10 so 6400 into 5 by 10 so 10 ones are 10 640 into 5 so what is that number of uh, basmati rice max 640 zero, 00 will cancel and 640 into 5 what is that is 0 0 2 30 32 4 5 is a 20 so 2 will some other and 2 will be here yeah, and uh, 6 5 is a 30 32 so here total number of bags that is basmati rice bags is equals to 3200 bags 3200 bags we need to sell basmati rice bags in order to equate the uh, non basmati rice 6400 bags so then we will not get any profit then we will not get any loss so thanks for watching this video if you like the video please give us thumbs up and please subscribe so here we'll discuss the uh, last question in exercise uh, four so in integers what is our sixth question is we have to fill the uh, blanks in order to show the equal values this side so we have to make these statements into true so for that uh, we need to fill the blanks so here minus three it is there so as i already told in order to make plus 27 so first we have to multiply minus with minus always so minus with minus always then it will going to become minus into minus will become plus so here minus into minus will become plus minus 3 into my mi minus into minus plus 3 into 9 so what is that is 3 into 9 27 yes minus into minus plus 3 into 9 27 next question 5 into dash that will be equal to minus 35 so here 5 already there but this is 5 is plus 5 
so plus into here plus is there if it is nothing is there in front of any number it is plus is there we have to think like that then here minus is there finally so with plus what we need to multiply should get minus in answer as usual minus minus why because if it is a minus is there it should be um, opposite sign should be there if it is a plus same sign should be there so 5 into 7 so 7 5 is a 35 like that next here minus is there here minus is there so left side what should be there is plus should be there why because plus into minus then only it will come as a minus answer so plus 7 7 8 is a 56 next here minus 12 is there what we need to multiply 12 in order to get uh, 132 in the answer that is plus 132 why because left side minus is there let's take uh, one more minus why because same sign should be multiplied in order to get plus symbol after equal after equal so what 12 means just multiply 11 with 12 will get 132 how means 12 ones are 12 sure 2 will be there remaining 1 will be remaining side again 12 ones are 1 uh, 12 ones are 12 plus 1 will be 13 so minus into minus will become plus like this we need to solve if you like the video please give thumbs up and please subscribe